So, we have nicely seen for the model for Romeo and Juliet how things are exponential growth because of positive feedback system both like each other and the reinforce of each other's behavior if one partner loves the other more than other person reciprocates the love. So, we model that, but still we found that some initial settings resulted in asymptotic behavior ok. Now, let us take up another setting love hate relationship things are not as it seems perhaps when the boy is disinterested or does not know uh, does not pay attention maybe she loves her I mean she loves him. Uh, when the boy starts to reciprocate his love she starts to spurn him or does not like him and uh, the same way as more she spurns he his uh, his uh, he loves her more. But then when she starts to reciprocate her love he walks away it is all very complicated so right. So, let us call them Julian and Claire after the protagonist from the red and the black by Stendhal it is a actually French book translated in English and setting of many Hollywood movies uh, or Bollywood any language movies. So, let us take this scenario Claire is attracted to Julian when he shows no interest in her. When Julian begins to love her he becomes pathetic in her eyes and develops uh, disgust for him. Julian is likewise attracted to Claire only if she gives him his co a cold shoulder then she becomes a prize for his honor mandates that he catch. What will happen when these two characters meet? So, how do we model this? Similarly, we will define stock of love for each other and we will see if we can just capture the personalities using the parameter settings. So, Julian Claire model will look very similar to Romeo and Juliet. Now, let us observe see the stock values and the flow equations does not change initial love we can as we told we can set some values. Let us try to capture their personalities by uh, using the terms on Julian's reaction and Claire's reaction. In Julian's reaction is opposite of what Claire demonstrates. If Claire dislikes him, he likes her. If Claire likes him, he dislikes her, right. So, it is in the opposite direction. So, let us put Julian's reaction as minus 1. Now, looking to Claire's reaction, if Julian likes her, likes her, then she is annoyed. So, she dislikes him. If Julian ignores her, then she likes him. So, it is also in the opposite direction. So, let us put Claire's reaction as minus 1. So, I just going to put Julian's reaction as minus 1, Claire's reaction as minus 1 because both Julian's reaction to Claire's love and Claire's reaction to Julian's love are negative. And every unit of love that Julian displays to Claire decreases Claire's love for Julian by 1 unit and vice versa. Now, let us go ahead and try to simulate this. Uh, let us assume the initial love of Julian, initial love of Claire is 1, that is they both meet each other, but instantly they like each other. But let us see what happens uh, to the relationship based on their personalities, right. If both love each other, what do we expect? Both will start to push each other away, right. Julian initially likes Claire, but Claire dislikes him. Let Julian's love be plus one love unit and Claire's love be minus one love unit. He likes her, she does not like him. Let us see where it goes, ok. You are also going to get a exponential behavior. The green one is Julian's love for Claire and red one is Claire's love for Julian. As you can see, more. Claire dislikes Julian, Julian's love is going to keep increasing uh, and as Julian's love keeps increasing Claire's love, Claire's love or order dislike for him increases and again we are getting exponential behavior. So, if you trace the loops, so you will see that it is actually a positive feedback loop. So, say Claire's love increases for Claire, I mean Julian's love 
for Claire increases suppose, then Claire dislikes, starts to dislike him and more Claire dislikes the more Julian is going to love her. So, it becomes a positive feedback system because there are two negatives, there are two negatives in the loop which resulted in a positive feedback system which is caused this behavior. I think there are quite a few movie, movie plot lines based on this maybe, I do not know if I am pronouncing Hindi correctly, Ranjana, Ranjana, similar plot line right, he loves her, she does not like him, she goes to kill him etcetera, etcetera, all the things happen because her dislike for him keeps growing. So, let us try out other such fun things, uh, suppose initially Julian loves Claire little more than Claire loves Julian both love each other, but let us assume Julie initially feels plus 1 love unit, where Claire only feels 0 0.9 love units, she likes him 10 percent less than he likes her, what do you expect will happen? Let us see what happens, actually we got a surprising the same behavior that is happening, right, but it is not always so, we need to zoom into period 0 1 2, so I cannot do it here, let me just We call initial love for Julian for Claire is 1, initial love of Claire for Julian is 0 0.9, Julian's reaction, Claire's reaction is minus 1, let us simulate it. This graph here shows again exponential behavior which is fine, but I told we need to zoom into period 0 and 2. already zoomed graph I have. Actually, if you zoom in, you get some interesting crazy dynamics um, the initial 4 periods. So, the red one is Claire's love for Julian and uh, blue is Julian's love for uh, Claire. So, as Claire, as, as Claire finds out that Julian loves him, her love decreases and as her love decreases, his love is also decreases slightly, right? because when she loves him, he starts to dislike her a bit. So, her love since it is positive, she or he also uh, likes her lesser, but at around period 1.4 around here, her love actually becomes dislike from positive it goes to negative it starts to dislike. As soon as she starts disliking him, his love starts to grow exponentially. So, the change in loop dominance is what you just saw here, but it is at such a small time scale you may not have realized it. So, you just saw that, that is an interesting dynamics which happened, but still positive negative feedback loops is what was kept dominating within the system. Now, suppose both Julian and Claire initially like each other, both feel plus 1 love units towards each other, then what will happen? Oscillations, no oscillations she both uh, like each other. So, then uh, so since they both like each other, they are going to like each other even less as time goes on and we are going to get a goal seeking behavior uh, to a point of kind of indifference within this model where, because each are going to like each other even lesser and lesser as time goes on and we will have exponential. Since the first order system, we are getting a or rather it is a uh, positive feedback system, but in this special case it is showing asymptotic behavior. You can expect similar behavior when say both Claire and Julian dislike each other initially, when they dislike each other, their dislike reduces with time and they result in again a point of indifference and eventually suppose Julian and Claire were initially indifferent to each other that both felt 0 love units that means, the stock initially is 0. So, there is no, no dynamics that can be observed within the system, right. So, though the personalities are opposite when they like, when one person, when the partner likes, uh, when one person likes, the partner does not like them, when the partner likes, the other person does not like them, even then the system becomes a positive feedback system where one's love is going to grow exponentially and others dislike is going to grow exponentially, uh, is the dynamics that we just saw. The personalities does not end there, we have many other personalities also 
we will take up one more scenario based on gone with the wind. I do not know how many saw the movie or read the book or read some synopsis or some adaptation of it in some version somewhere. Uh, so, when he is initially not interested in her, she loves him and when she, when he reciprocates the love, she starts to spurn him. But then when he, when she loves him is when he loves her, he likes to his love to be reciprocated and when she, spur, she spurns him, then he also wants to walk away, he does not want to hang around, right. So, let us call them Scarlet and Rhett. When Rhett is indifferent to Scarlet, she is attracted to him. When Rhett is attracted to her, she scorns him. Rhett, however, becomes frustrated when Scarlet treats him with contempt. He is attracted to her when she is attracted to him, but he loses interest when she snubs him. What will happen when these two meet? Uh, yeah. So, our model setting is going to be similar, we are going to have exact same model setting, same stock of love. Uh, so, red is love for scarlet and scarlet is love for red and we are going to use the parameters. How can we set the parameters for say red's reaction? How will red's reaction be? So, scarlet loves him. Reds uh, is more attracted to her, right? So it is in the same direction. So Reds reaction is plus one positive. But when Red loves Scarlet, then Scarlet's reaction is to scorn him. It is in opposite direction. So it is in. We can model it as minus one. Let us say Scarlet's reaction is minus one. So Reds reaction Scarlet's love is positive. Scarlet's reaction Reds love is the negative opposite direction. Now. Let us suppose initially Scarlet and Red feel one unit of love for each other, that is they are initially attracted to each other, then what kind of dynamics can we expect? So what feedback loop do we have? The previous two cases were positive feedback systems, what feedback system is this? It is a negative feedback system, right, then what kind of dynamics can we expect? What you are going to get is system is going to oscillate. If you have seen the movie, this is the plot line. <laughs> so, both love each other, but as um, Scarlet is going to dislike him as he loves her, but as long as love is somewhat positive, his love increases, but then when she starts to actively scorn him and dislike him, his love falls, continues to fall. And then he starts to ignore her and when he starts ignoring her, her dislike reduces and then slowly again she fall backs, falls, falls back in love with him. Uh, once he starts loving him, he also reciprocates the love and the game continues. So you get a nice oscillating systems of uh, love for each other, uh, red's love for scarlet and scarlet's love for red, the red and uh, green lines. This is because we are having a negative feedback within the system. So, as Red's uh, love increases, then Scarlet dislikes him. As Scarlet dislikes him, her, his love reduces. So, the direction of change is negative. So, it is a negative feedback system, is what we have just observed, which is causing an oscillation. That is a first order negative feedback system. Again, we can have some interesting settings. Suppose initially Red's love for Scarlet. But Scarlet is indifferent to red, that is uh, Scarlet uh, initial value is 0, where red's initial value is 1. Uh, so, she does not dislike him or like him. So, uh, since she and then he loves her, so immediately we can expect that Scarlet will start to dislike him, and as soon as she starts disliking, red's love is going to fall. Uh, but we can expect a similar oscillating systems. Uh, so, instead of initial increase in love for uh, red, he will start to, uh, it will start to fall as uh, Scarlet's uh, dislike for him increases and system oscillates. Initially red likes Scarlet, but Scarlet actively dislikes red, they are on the opposite sides, 
right as scarlet as scarlet actually displays red red slough has to fall and as initially red like scarlet then she she should actively dislike him more which is what happens initially since he likes her she likes him even less again system will oscillate because of this second order negative feedback system that is present in our model suppose they are indifferent to each other what can we expect will system oscillate no because stocks are zero so you don't expect it to oscillate so that's what you get system doesn't oscillate i think i've effectively ruined the books for you <laughs> so that is the conclusion uh these are three scenarios romeo juliet julian claire and scarlet red uh but interesting is all had the same generic structure and this is called a second order system that we have we had a stock two stocks each independently changing but the change in stock 2 is affected by stock 1 and change in stock 1 is affected by stock 2 this is generic structure this is a generic structure for actually any system which is going to exhibit a sustained oscillation this is a generic structure when you have this generic structure is going to cause sustained oscillation but what else is needed to ensure sustained oscillation we need negative feedbacks so second order system with negative feedbacks is only thing that is going to cause oscillations so oscillations are feature for this negative feedback loops in higher order two stocks or more systems similar to the gone with the wind model so you have multiple stocks with negative feedbacks that's when you're going to see oscillation within the system even if you have two stocks but the positive feedback system no set of initial conditions can make them oscillate so romeo and juliet and claire and uh, julian claire model are driven by positive feedback loops so they are going to generate exponential behavior in some exceptional cases it does produce asymptotic behavior uh, so for us to get sustained oscillations we need a second order negative feedback system uh, is what is going to cause it so there is a learning in this class so i suggest you think of this uh, typical movie plot line and see how we can model it um boy meets girl he likes her on first sight but she dislikes him he woos her but her dislike towards him grows then suddenly she starts to reciprocate his love as of now i can't we can't change anything in the parameter setting to model this there is a non linear shift in feelings for each other their reactions try to model this how we are going to do it what kind of stock uh, is a reaction even governed by the others the response or not and see how it works so some more descriptions of that is also available online thank you